The Office of Gender Affairs Coordinator Laura Lee Connor says lack of funds contributes to her agency's inability to launch and sustain effective domestic violence awareness and prevention media campaigns in the territory. In a recent exclusive interview with JTV News, Connor said her office has received only $2,000 for territory-wide multimedia campaigns over the next eight months. The budget right now for our campaign is like 2000 but like I said, this is for the whole from May to December. We do have persons working with us like the Bar Association. Miss Dion Borland Ferron is on our committee and she was trying to find ways and means in which we can publicize um, the act itself. And there is a talk show that the Bar Association has, which we've been invited on, but we're currently working on the act simplified, frequently asked questions and answers to the act. So once we've accomplished that, then we will feel much better going you know, to the public, breaking down the document, letting them know that these are the changes made and this is now what is coming into effect. The agency falls under the Premier's office and is charged with promoting gender equality. The prevention of gender violence is a priority for the agency. Recent statistics from the police show a steady increase in reports of domestic violence. Between 2009 and 2011, the police dealt with a total of 240 cases of abuse. Already this year, there were 41 reports, including 22 common assault. Connor said another challenge her office faces is a lack of interagency cooperation. In some cases, staff are unaware of their roles. She added that the responders in the territory must have a more cohesive approach when dealing with reports of domestic abuse. The gap in knowing who's responsible for what, how do you deal with the cases, that's what we're trying to decipher and make straight with the protocol. There's clear-cut guidelines on how to deal with the issue of domestic violence and how to specifically deal with the victims, especially if there's a situation where you have to collect data. You would really need the police in as soon as possible because that evidence, if tampered with, then can't be used. So. We want that joint effort where everyone is called in to deal with the, the victims at the same time so that it wouldn't be repetitive to, for the victim to repeat the same story over and over again. So we're really trying, that, that gap had everyone at a standstill, but that gap is being closed in now where the services are more joined or combined. And with that being done, then it becomes easier to know who has which information, who's playing which role. In 2011, domestic abuse was on the national agenda with amendment to the Domestic Violence Act to include several additional forms of abuse, one of them electronic harassment. The act defines domestic violence. It says it means any controlling or abusive behavior that harms or may harm the health, safety or well-being of a person or any child and includes but is not limited to the following. Physical abuse or threats of physical abuse, sexual abuse or threats of sexual abuse, emotional, verbal, or psychological abuse, economic abuse, intimidation, harassment, stalking, damage to or destruction of property, entry into the applicant's residence without consent where the parties do not share the same residence. These are some of the major um, changes. It also gives definition for economic abuse as well as electronic mail, which includes any form of electronic communication through internet and other social media. So if you go on the internet and you're slandering or abusing someone um, with words, then that's also considered domestic violence. Emergency monetary relief is also included in this act where if a person has to move out of the home, whether it be male or female, because we're aware that both parties uh, can be abused, um, we will have to come up with some sort of relief for the person financially if that person has to move out. Persons charged with domestic violence face one to three years imprisonment.